Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to restore backup and how to transfer data on Motorola Moto G86 Power. Okay, uh, so we have uh, two methods how we can restore our data. Uh, we can do it by uh, transferring data from your uh, old device into your Motorola or for example we can restore the, the backup from the uh, Google one. Uh, I'll show you both of the methods. Uh, also, you don't need to uh, uh, repeat the steps th that I'm showing you right now. Uh, but, for example, you can transfer data during the setup process uh, and also you can transfer data and restore the backup, of course, uh, even when your phone is already uh, set up. Mm, I'll show you that uh, how to do it. So simply open up the settings because my uh, device is already set up. Uh, so I'll show you how to do it through the settings. Open up them, scroll down, now click on backup or copy data and select copy data using Android switch. Okay, now we have option to copy data from another device. We need to click on start. Now choose your other device. As you can see already on our second device, uh, an option to mm, copy data appeared. Uh, so on our Motorola select Android or iPhone if you are using it. Uh, and now we need to scan this QR code. Uh, that's the first method. I'll show you how to transfer from other device. In here click on start. Uh, if it doesn't pop out on your uh, device, you can simply open up the camera app and use the Google Lens to scan this code. If you don't have a Google Lens, uh, you can use any other uh, QR code uh, scanning feature uh, or even the app that you have downloaded from the Play Store. Okay, now we need to simply wait until both devices connect to each other. Oh, actually, it didn't want to work. So let's try again. Let's scan the code. Now it should be fine, I think. Yeah, as you can see, uh, Motorola is uh, automatically connecting to the Wi-Fi. Okay, getting the phone ready. This might take a few minutes, so we just need to simply be patient. Because it's sometimes it takes uh, long. All right, copying the account. And now we need to verify uh, by typing the password uh, to our Google account on which we are locked in on our previous device. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, then simply click on next. Okay, now when you have copy apps and data, hit on next. Okay, getting ready to copy. We need to wait a little bit. Okay, uh, now we can choose how uh, to copy. We can use the Express. Uh, it's going to take about six minutes. Only data that's not available in your Google account will be copied. Or also, if you want, I'll show you. Uh, click on Customize, then click on Next. And now we can manually select the things that we want or don't want to copy. Uh, so, for example, in here we have a list of things that we can copy. Uh, but when it comes to the apps, we, we don't need to copy all 71 of them. We can simply click on the apps and we can manually select or unselect the apps that we want or don't want to copy. Uh, also, you need to remember that mm, some apps are mm, the system apps, uh, so you just need to be careful uh, what you are trying to copy or not. Uh, in my case, 
I don't want any of my apps to be copied only the system one actually and uh, let's select the Netflix for example mm, and maybe the Amazon and the Blockbuster hit on OK it's going to take about three minutes now simply click on copy now the process will start so we just need to simply wait now we have uh, the Google services which are really really useful uh, so I s suggest you should keep them enabled hit on accept and now the uh, copying is uh, proceeding so I'll see you once it's finished okay now the copying has been done we can see it on both devices simply hit on done now we might and need to wait a little bit because this might take a few minutes you can read about it on the screen and on our second device we can simply click on close uh, we won't be needing it anymore okay all set hit on done and now everything has been successfully copied uh, also uh, some of the things might still be installed from the uh, play store for example in here uh, so don't disconnect from the wi-fi yet and wait until everything gets downloaded all right so that was the first method uh, and i'll show you how to uh, restart the backup from the google one uh, again on our motorola we need to open up the settings and we need to uh, again click on copy data using android switch Uh, in here select don't copy because uh, I don't want to use the previous device uh, Okay, uh, hit on next and click on restore from backup this time uh, But actually mm, there's a chance that mm, In the settings of our device uh, The Google account changed so uh, Be aware of that. Uh, I just need to make sure that in the Google Okay I'm logged into the proper Google account uh, because it's really important when it comes to the restoring the backup from the Google one you need to be logged in into the same Google account on which you made the backup before it is really important because if you're logged in into other Google account you won't be able to restore the chats from the cloud and not the chats but uh, the whole backup I'm sorry uh, so actually I'll take uh, I'll put this phone away because it won't be uh, necessary okay and now mm, let's hit the settings and let's go back into backup or copy data hit copy data using Android switch in here click on start and click on restore from backup now we need to wait okay copy up some data hit on next No, oh, and actually it says it, it doesn't find the uh, the backup which is uh, pretty weird because I made it you can see it right in here uh, so just uh, give me a second and I'll be back okay now I'm back uh, I quickly reset the phone because that is why I uh, the restoring process didn't want to work uh, now again click on copy apps using Android switch hit on start click on restore from backup make sure that you're logged in into the proper Google account because you need to be logged in into the same Google account on which you made the backup before it is important now we need to simply wait And also, uh, remember that uh, all the steps that I'm showing you, you can also perform uh, during the setup process if you want. Okay, we are after the loading screen. Uh, now we need to hit on next. And now we have a possibility to restore data. Uh, I mean to restore our backup uh, as you can see in, in my case I have a lot of backups because uh, I simply <laughs> created them uh, now simply select the backup that you want in my case I'll uh, select the backup that I made uh, on this Motorola uh, before as you can see in my case it was made uh, 26 minutes ago simply select the backup that you want to restore uh, also in my case I need to confirm by drawing my screen lock so uh, hit on next as 
uh, sometimes uh, it uh, it doesn't uh, pop out. Uh, of course, uh, it depends. Uh, did you have your screen lock uh, set? All right, and now we need to choose what we want to restore. When it comes to the Google Photos, Gmail, Calendar, and Drive, they are synced automatically, mm, and we can select apps, contacts, device settings, and also the uh, call history. Uh, and just like in the previous method, you don't need to, you know, copy all of the apps. Mm, you can simply select uh, or unselect the apps that you want or don't want to copy. In my case, I'll uh, keep uh, everything. Uh, hit on OK. And now, click on Restore. Now the process will start. So I'll see you once uh, this loading screen is, uh, is finished. Alright, we are after the process. It says that all is set. Hit on done. And now we are ready to use our device. Also, uh, some of the things, uh, just like in the previous method, might still be installed from the Play Store. Uh, so the, don't disconnect from the Wi-Fi yet and wait until everything gets downloaded. Alright, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.